So we spend, allegedly, a third of our lives asleep. That is, if you are lucky enough to achieve the ideal eight hours of sleep every night. And for the most part, we write off our dreams like they don't mean anything. And this could be for a number of reasons. We don't remember them, they don't make sense to us, we just write it off like, oh, well, you know, I saw a black cat yesterday, so that's why I dreamt of a black cat last night. But I am here to tell you that is just simply not the case. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're gonna talk dreams. Ha, huh. dreams. us such insight to our subconscious mind, to the spirit realm, to thoughts, to feelings, ideas, all kinds of things. But that's only if we pay attention to them. That's only if we analyze them. And not just once, not just twice, but consistently. You know, a lot of times it's not just one dream that occurs that you can analyze and figure out all these things. A lot of times it's kind of a stream of dreams. So a pattern of dreams and where you can kind of start to almost like string them together and come to a bigger spiritual meaning, a bigger insight, a bigger idea. And from talking to so many people, what I believe is the biggest inhibitor to analyzing our dreams is just simply the fact that most people don't remember them and those that do just don't really think anything of it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, the one thing I want you to keep in mind is this does not happen overnight. No pun intended. <laughs> but it does take time and consistency. I have done enough experimenting over the past year plus to know what does and doesn't work. And now, I remember my dreams pretty much every night. I mean, I want to say every night, but I know it's not 100%, but like pretty much, and sometimes even multiple dreams. And that is, if I don't disqualify myself from remembering them. So the first thing you wanna do is to set an intention that you want to remember the dream. I do this by putting my dream journal Yes, a journal dedicated only to dreams because that's kind of part of the whole intention setting part right next to my bed with a pen. This is my dream journal. I made it super like abstract because like, you know, dreams, you know, <laughs> yeah, just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> it may not happen for you the first night or the third night or the fourth night, but I promise it will work if you do these following steps. So what do I mean by disqualifying yourself? I'm talking about doing things during the day or right before bed that's going to prevent you or highly contribute to preventing you from remembering your dreams such as alcohol or smoking the green. And that's because substances can often prevent you from getting into the REM sleep cycle, which is where most of dreams, not all dreams, but where most dreams occur. Sleep disorders such as sleep apnea or anything like that can also disrupt your sleep patterns or if you get up a lot during the night, there are so many things that can prevent you from getting into that deep REM sleep. However, you can also dream outside of being just in a deep REM and also, just because you remember your dreams doesn't mean you're getting a better quality sleep than someone who can't remember them. It's not like a mutually exclusive thing. Other things that can contribute are anxiety before bed, other medications that you may be taking, or even just too many liquids before bed. I'm a big water drinker. I drink close to a gallon a day. I usually drink tea before bed. However, even as much as I get up during the night, I still remember my dreams. So no matter what you're doing, this is going to kind of help you achieve that. 
Okay, so you have your dream journal, you have your pen ready to go, now what? Do you ever notice that like when you do remember your dreams, they slip away pretty quickly? Like sometimes in a matter of seconds. So what you wanna do is as you're transitioning out of sleep, whether it's naturally or with an alarm, you want to capture that right away. And one of the experiments I did was writing directly in my dream journal. And sometimes this is even in the middle of the night when I wake up to like use bathroom and doing it a different way, which I find works way better, way better, way better. So what you want to do as soon as you wake up, grab your phone and bring up the little voice memo app and talk into it. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. Talk about colors you see, people you see in your dreams. And what I believe is the most important thing is how you're feeling when you're going through the dreams. You wanna tap into like, okay, well, when this weird thing happened, not that just that it happened, but how was I feeling when that happened? If this person is in your dream, how are you feeling when they're around you? And that doesn't necessarily mean anything about the other person. Like say, I, I, you know, there's a joke out there that um, you know, a, a woman in a relationship will fall asleep and have a dream with her you know, husband next to her and cheating on her and she wakes up and she gets mad at him. But that has nothing to do with the husband. It has to do with her subconscious mind and what she's feeling about the husband how did she feel in the dream and it's, it's it's more about going inwards in your own mind and your own conscious and subconscious than actually like what the other person or people in your dreams are doing so i want you to grab your voice memo app record everything you can remember and sometimes throughout the day like something will happen and it'll, it'll trigger a, a quick flash or a quick memory of something i had in my dream and immediately what i'll do is talking to the voice memo thing again. And I wanna say the reason for not writing it down and actually talking is because our hands, like we physically cannot write as quickly as our mind goes and our memory recalls. So because dreams fade away so quickly, you want to speak into it and capture as much as the dream as possible each night, even if it's like two words, even if it's just like a second, and it will snowball and it'll accumulate. Another thing that I would highly suggest is not going directly, and you know, you can do this, it doesn't really matter, you know, you experiment with what works best for you. But what I have found that works best for me is if I talk into the voice recorder thing, I'm like super groggy, you know, it is what it is, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And then what I was doing was immediately copying what I was listening to into my dream journal. But then what you wanna do is what, what I found works better for me is actually going throughout my day like normal after I do the voice recording. And then somewhere later in the day, in the afternoon or in the evening, I'll go back to my dream journal and then I'll listen to the recording and write everything down. And what this has done for me is give me more insight and realizations because typically by the end of the day, I have already forgotten most of the things that happened in my dream the night before. So what happens is, is I'm listening to the voice recording, I've got my pen in my hand, and I'm writing stuff down, and it starts to kind of connect the dots on specific feelings or colors or people or instances in the dream. Whereas if I just go right from the voice recording to writing it down, I kind of lose some of that interpretation. So you want to get a dream journal, have your phone nearby, voice record into the phone, anything you can remember. And don't get frustrated because at first, like you might not remember a lot, but the repetitive pattern of this, the repeating intention setting, that is what is going to get into your subconscious to continue to remember more and more and more. I bet you that if you do this for 30 days, you'll be remembering an astronomical amount more about your dreams and being able to use them to help you in your current life and to help you decipher different feelings and things that you're going through in your like waking hours than you did 30 days before. So just stick with it and I promise like it's been a game changer for me. And I can look back, you know, to a week ago and I'm like, holy crap, now that makes sense or a month ago I'm like, wow, that makes so much sense and it's not always going to right away like for example i had a dream 
actually, it's probably around this week, a year ago. And it was a very profound dream, even though what I could remember was maybe 15, 20 seconds. And it didn't necessarily click or make sense to me until a month ago. So this is something you want to do that's ongoing, continue doing it, continue learning and figuring out what works for you. And I promise like watch it change your life, watch it change how you interpret things, how you decipher things and allow a third of your life to help you with your life. And instead of waving it off, like it doesn't matter, understand that like it does matter. And there's a lot in there that you can get out of. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I think dreams are so important and so interesting. And as you learn about them and learn about yourselves through them, you'll get to know yourself on a deeper level and be able to assist yourself with current day-to-day -day problems that you're going through. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.